Good morning, good morning, good morning. The subject today is crankshafts and timing gears. The, well, let's just get to the timing gears first. This one, it's a McCormick Darren one and a half horsepower, this particular one. The bigger horsepowers are pretty much the same. Uh, made by International Harvester up there in Chicago in the U.S. of A. The, um, the, the crankshaft gear and the cam gear happens to be 30 teeth on this gear, 60 teeth on this gear. And uh, maybe I said something in a prior video, and there is a little more to this, that you can check back a couple of videos backwards and kind of get up to date. The, uh, the bigger gear here has two punch marks. I have used white out on them here to make them visible. And I do this, and, and before, in years past, not counting the engines that I'm working on in this, in this particular batch of engines that I'm doing, I did look it up, and I think that this engine right here is the 28th McCormick Darren M that I have put together from one piece. Uh, 28 engines I have been put together, and all of them, the, the reason I, t I tell you that is it's one of those engines that you cannot go wrong on. Even if you're, let's say that, that the punch mark is worn away, it's not there, it will always be, write this on the wall over there, the punch mark, the, the timing mark, will always be the center tooth on the keyway. If you have a gear that your mark is worn away for some reason, then put your punch mark right where the keyway is, the center tooth, and you'll have a, a marked gear. Even if you don't have a mark, just look at it, and where the keyway is, it will be that tooth. With that said, it's this one right here. Probably should put a disclaimer in here, clear it up before I go any further. The marked tooth on the crankshaft gear is in the center of the uh, keyway. The center tooth on that is the timing tooth. Uh, on, on this gear, on this one, it's not the keyway. It's uh, a quarter of a turn around is the marked teeth. So, so do not use that keyway as a marked tooth on all of these engines, only on this gear here. Okay, this one, it has two teeth marked. This one has one. And when we put all of this together, we will look through the side of the engine, and we will put that one tooth in, in, relay, in between the other two. All three teeth will have a mark on them when it's timed as it left the factory. And if, if you make a complete revolution, go all the way around there, that tooth will always come back. Any, any time you see those three teeth lined up, then it will be in, in alignment. You, you can't get it a half a round out. It just don't work. So, it's, like I say, it's one of those things that you cannot get wrong. This is the crankshaft that we're going to use in the bailing war engine. And we are, we're going to get on with that engine. And, and, and the reason for these, this, this, these videos here is, is I'm putting together a whole bunch of engines, uh, uh, several of these M's. So, and to take these little side trips and just kind of explain what I'm doing, and I only need one. I, I could have put this to get engine together in about a half a day. The, uh, well, let's say a day. The, um, but you see, I do have that tooth marked. It's the one with the, with the keyway. And then when I put that on there, I'll just line it up right there, and it'll be timed. Actually, it'll be this way, but it will be in time. The, uh, and uh, just a little, 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 
let's say a sidebar, the crankshaft, if you disassemble that, if you take this timing gear off of that crankshaft, which is what I did on this one, actually this was another one, but it will have this, this type, it will have that type keyway in there. This one right here has been, it's been damaged in the past, but it's a round hole in the crankshaft, and then it's, it's a flat keyway, it's, it's a T-shaped key. Goes right in there. You, you can't go wrong because it matches up right there. So you just put that on there and you're good to go. Let's set this aside. The another thing that I, I may have, um, I should probably clarify a few things because you're just uh, doing a, a, a like a how-to. You just go by so fast, assuming that everyone knows, and there it's. If you've never put one of these together, then there is some there's some homework to do. And one of the things that I said in that in a in a last video was, and this is the center of the flywheel that that has the collar on it. It would go it would go like this right here. That's the way that goes onto this right here, and the, the governor weight collar would go right here. You can see where the set screw was at. And this part right here, and this is full size, it ain't been cut down. And and this, this slides back and forth on that flywheel center. The spokes would rad radiate it out from this area. And the only reason that I use this is it just was so easy in this incidence. Most of the time you would not have the pleasure of having a broke flywheel center. So if you did not have that and you wanted to check this this crankshaft um, and, and a dial indicator, if you're indicating a round shaft you do not you, you, you do not have to rotate the shaft if you if you indicate four positions on this shaft right here then you will you will know if it's true uh, you, you, with the dial readings then you can make any adjustments from four points on here the reason that i bring that to your attention is that a, a shaft with a keyway in it interrupts the rotation if you've got a dial indicator pointed at this shaft or any any uh, just a round shaft in general that's got a keyway in it and you come around here then that interrupts the travel so actually you never you really do not have to turn the flywheel uh, the shaft a full revolution you, you can indicate it here and then go half around turn it half around here equal over there equal over here and find the find if this shaft is true in relationship to the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I didn't explain that very well. Going to have some homework on your part. <laughs> I leave a comment. Man, that was a bad job of explaining that. I'll own up to it. I told you in the past, if, if it was something that you needed to know, I'd tell it to you. And that's something you need to know. I did a bad job right there, but I'm going to, it's food for thought.